Hey, grace and peace, everyone. This is Charles here with your midweek recharge. And this week, I want to talk mostly to parents. Now, if you're not a parent, I don't want you to scroll past me or move on. Um, I, there's something here for you, too, but we're going to address kind of mostly parents. So if you've been following with us on Sunday Sessions for Connecting, uh, Facebook Live every Sunday at noon Eastern, wink, wink, um, uh, also available on YouTube.com. Uh, if you follow along, uh, we've been going through the epistles, the letters from Paul uh, to the new believers all throughout um, the the region, uh, you know, today sort of the, the, the modern um, region of kind of Turkey, Jordan, um, I ran that, that kind of, you know, Jerusalem, that, that area. And so, you know, Paul was tooling around and he was sending letters to the new believers to encourage them. And so we started to look at what, what we refer to as the second letter to the believers in the city of Corinth. Now, in reality, it's, it's actually the fourth letter and it's, uh, kind of the 10th correspondence back and forth between Paul and these new believers. And so at one point in time, there was this rift, there was kind of this falling away, and the believers, the church at Corinth, realized um, that they were disrespectful and, and ungrateful, and so they wrote an apology letter to Paul, and 2 Corinthians is kind of Paul's response to their apology. And there's clear effort towards reconciliation, but he does something that's really interesting as well, is he doesn't let them off the hook for uh, the correction that needs to come. And I think for parents, particularly maybe younger parents, parenting in this COVID world, this virtual world, this information age, there's a lot of emphasis on empowering our kids and the agency of our children and 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 the dynamic that changes over time. I'm a coach, I'm a consultant, uh, and these sorts of things. And we sometimes forget, it doesn't matter how old your children are, they still need to be parented. I'm 44 years old, and my mother, God love her, still parents me because some of that never goes away. And so even though these believers admitted they were wrong and Paul accepted their apology, he still needed to bring correction. My challenge to you this week is to give correction where it needs to be given and to receive correction when it is given. Let that be your recharge.